Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to read a stem and leaf plot. And specifically, we're going to take a look at an example with three digit numbers. Now, stem and leaf plots are a way to organize and display data. They may look kind of confusing at first, but once you know what you're looking at and how everything is set up, they are fairly simple to read and understand. Let's jump into our example where we have a stem and leaf plot displaying the number of orders a business had per day over the last 20 days. When working with stem and leaf plots, every value is split into a stem and a leaf. So here are the stems and here are the leaves. Stems on the left, leaves on the right. Now, what do the stems represent and what do the leaves represent? Well, let's look at this key right here and this will tell us. This key tells us that a stem of 22 and a leaf of 9 equals 229. And since we are working with orders per day, we have a label of orders. That tells us that the stems represent the hundreds and tens place, and then the leaves represent the ones place. Now looking at numbers one and two, what do the stems represent and what do the leaves represent? Well, the stems again represent the hundreds place, the hundreds digit, and the tens place, the tens digit. And then the leaves represent the ones place, the ones digit. For the stems, we have 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So we have the 200s, the 210s, the 220s, the 230s, and the 240s. Think of the stems like this. So our first stem of 20, the hundreds place and tens place, and then the leaves will go in the ones place. Then we have the stem of 21, and then the leaves will go in the ones place. Then we have the stem of 22, and then the leaves will go in the ones place. Then the stem of 23, leaves go in the ones place. And then lastly, the stem of 24, leaves go in the ones place. Let's put this all together and look at number three, where we have a stem of 24 and a leaf of eight. So looking at the stem and leaf plot, stem of 24, leaf of eight. So the hundreds, tens, and then ones. That gives us 248. So again, stem of 24, the hundreds place, the tens place, and then a leaf of eight, the ones place. So we put the stem and the leaf together and we get 248. And then lastly, let's move on to number four where we have list all of the orders in the 220s. Well, we need to look at the stem of 22 and put that together with the leaf of three, the leaf of four, the leaf of six, the leaf of eight, and the leaf of nine. So we have 223 orders, 224 orders, 226 orders, 228 orders, and then 229 orders. So those are all of the orders in the 220s. Now, just in case you'd like one more example, let's go through the 230s. So 230s are going to equal, well, we need to look at the stem of 23, and then we will start with the leaf of two. So that will be 232. Then we have the leaf of three, so 233. Then the leaf of seven, so 237. Another seven, so 237. Then an eight, so 238. And then lastly, a nine, so two, 39. 
So there you have it. There's how to read a stem and leaf plot involving three digit numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.